What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight, and we are back on Subnautica, one of the greatest underwater survival games in history. I don't know why I'm talking like this, because I really don't like announcers that do that, so I'm just going to shut up doing that now. Uh, in the last episode, we went ahead and we got our knife, Sea Glide, Flashlight, Habitat Builder, and our Scanner. Uh, what I've gone ahead and whoops, what I've gone ahead, and, uh, 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 what I've gone ahead and done so far. Of the dry pool. She had the to interrupt, didn't she? Calculating risk assessment: death by malnourishment, seven percent; by physical injury, eleven percent; by exposure. Radioactive okay, we're going to die, basically. Anyway, what I've gone and done is I went out and I got some quartz, I got some copper, I got some lead, and I got some titanium, made a little bit of glass, made a or got some salt. Ooh, I probably should use that up so I can get a little bit more room. But I went out and I got some stuff, so you guys wouldn't have to see me do it off camera. Also, I also filled up our food and our water, for the most part, made a couple of cure pe cured peepers, and got some filtered water. Now, the Aurora hasn't blown up yet. So we've actually got a couple of choices. One, we can go right there where that wreck is and to get the, the, the mobile vehicle bay. Or, uh, let's see, we could go over to, I believe, can I get up here? No. We can go over to the floating island and we can get like the uh, multi-purpose room and stuff like that. And we can get our food situation all situated and we can start building the base uh, the thing is is to take the sea glide over there is kind of a pain to be honest with you I mean it's not a big pain it's not that big of a deal okay I'm making too much of it out of something small but at the same time I'd rather just do it with the sea moth so I think what we're gonna do you know that looks like a good place for a base too nah 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 it's not big enough so what I want to do is I wanted to start I want to build a very basic, okay, we're going to store some stuff here base, because I remember I told you that glitch that every now and then does happen, that this, this, the life pod will float off. Um, I thought they'd fixed it. They had for a while, but now I guess it's back in the game because I've had it happen before. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off. Uh, yeah, we're going to start off. We're just going to do something basic very 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 basic we're gonna put a foundation down uh you are gonna let me put it down here right okay cool see now what they used to do is they used to make it so uh it would actually delete some of the terrain and stuff like that but they changed that because they were getting a lot of uh problems with it at Okay, there he is. I was like, I heard him, uh, but they were getting a lot of problems with that. And basically, they were having people's games crash. So they decided to go ahead and fix that. So we're going to put this right here. Did he drop a tooth? I bet he didn't. Yes, he did. Yes, do we have? Yes, we do. Yes. Okay, so, and we're just going to put... Should we do a T? Let's just do a T real quick here. And we're going to go ahead and throw this in here. I don't like that they don't do it in the center. Ugh. That's probably everybody's complaint, though. And then we're going to see if we can do a hatch. And then now that we've done a hatch, we're going to go ahead and do... What is it? Solar panels, I think? Now, I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a minute. Well, obviously, I, I kind of already did tell you. Which is, we want to keep our stuff safe just in case that thing decides to float off. Uh, I'm missing quartz. Crap. Oxygen. Missing quartz. But uh, yeah, so we don't want we we want to keep all of our stuff. So I'm basically just just building this to uh, to put some some storage in there is really all I'm trying to do. Uh, I think it's two quartz per. So I don't want to put two up there. You're going to put you in there. And then what we're going to do is I think we're going to go over to that wreck and we're going to see if we can get the mobile vehicle bay. And if we've got time after that, we're going to see if we can get the sea moth. And then we're going to see if we, well, I don't know if we're going to have time after that. But if we do, we're going to see if we can go over and get some of the, the, the floating island stuff. But I don't know if we're actually going to have time with that uh, or not. But uh, we're definitely going to be building those things today. The thing is, is I've noticed something a little bit 
different in the game recently, and that's uh, how many pieces of glass do I got? Okay, not enough, and not enough titanium. And that's uh, what I noticed that was different is when the aurora blows up. Before it blows up, there's obviously no radiation, so you can go to pretty much anywhere you want. After it blows up. The radiation go only goes to a certain point, and it used to be where the radiation would only go... Oh, I forgot the titanium. Uh, would only go up to the very first wreck, but you could still get into the first wreck. Now I've noticed, and I might just be in my imagination, I don't think it is though, but I've noticed it actually will... Uh, uh, over a certain days after it's exploded, uh, you can't go in there unless you have the radiation the suit. Board, you can't go into that wreck. And it it's it, it forces you to build the, the 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 radiation suit. So I'm thinking, well, maybe we'll just build the freaking radiation suit right now and head over there. And, I mean, it hasn't exploded yet, so we're pretty much okay. It's not like it's that big of a deal. I need, I need another glass because I want to make two two storage things. Is that one? Oh, come on. There's got to be a quartz around here somewhere. Got to be close. I don't even know why I'm I'm not swimming with my sea glide. I just, I get, I get in kind of a, a groove of not, <laughs> of not uh, using the, the tools at my, at my, at my disposal. And it gets a little, oh, I got to go up and, and uh, once we get everything out of here, basically we've got to make a fabricator as well. But I don't think I'm going to make a fabricator right off the bat. Hopefully ours doesn't disappear. If it does, I'll have to chase down this stupid life pod. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was making glass. Okay, so let's make some glass. We're going to make a second container in there. Then we're going to see if we can go get the sea moth first, I think. But we also need to go get some of that fiber mesh as well, right? Uh, let's see. I wanted to take you. You know what? Can we just take all of it? Let's just take all of it. All right. Cool. Okay. So this is pretty much empty. Is this done? No. Okay. So this is pretty much empty. We are. Where are we going? We're going this way. All right. So we'll make our second our second thing in bobber here. Locker. That's what it is. Storage locker. Same. Oops. Whoops. What, what button? My fingers are like, no, dude, you're not doing things right. All right, so we'll just throw that right there. Just for the hell of it right now. I'm not sure how much stuff we're going to end up grabbing completely. Uh, and then we'll throw all of that stuff in there. We're going to put you and you and you. Uh, let's see, two of those. You can go in there. That's it, right? We don't need both of these. In fact, I never carry them on me. It's probably kind of stupid, but I never carry them on me. So, uh, let's see. Do we need... We're probably going to need another battery, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and make another battery for the Sea Glide, just for the giggles. Uh, I think we need two lead for... Is that uh, is that what we need for the... Where is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Radiation. So we need fiber mesh. And with fiber... And it, see, it doesn't actually give... Is that what it... Uh, I forgot to actually look at the lead. <laughs> okay, so lead times two. We're good. Let's see. Let's go over. And where is... Where's the creep vine biome? There it is right there. All right. Normally, there's like a ton of... There's like a ton of teeth down here. Look at that. That's a nest right there. Look at all that. Ooh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Okay, so one. Let's just get two just for the giggles. Let's just make the radiation suit right now. We might as well, right? I mean, why not? Don't chase me. Are you chasing me over here? No, I don't want you over by my base. Then I'll have to kill you, and then I will feel bad. What am I doing? Jeez, Mystic. This way. Okay, so let's go ahead, go in. Let's get some fiber mesh going here. It is raining up a storm outside my house right now. Ooh. Oh, so you need... Oh, no. Really? You need two of those? I thought it used to be just one. Oh, there's a rebreather. Wiring kit, which is two silver. We don't have the silver, I don't think. Oh, damn it. I need to get another one. Okay, let's get another one then. Um, but yeah, it is raining up a storm right now. I was in kind of a... 
kind of in a somber mood earlier today and if you guys don't know this about me i absolutely love love bad weather i love it when it snows i love it when it when it rains it pours and just just it's oh it's so nice i absolutely love it so it's raining like crazy i wasn't even going to do a video today and i said you know what to heck with this i feel good i'm going to do a video let's get this done and that done i was i it it's too bad it doesn't rain all the time. That would be actually pretty cool, because then I could actually get stuff done. I'd feel better all of the time. Okay, so there's our lead suit. As soon as we can, we need to get the steel suit, too. I hate the lead suit. It drains your battery so fast. It's redonkulous. Uh, let's just go over here. All right, so we're wearing everything we need. High capacity. Is this... Did we already get our high capacity? Yeah, that's what that is. Let's let's listen to this. Okay, uh, life pod three. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to be picking up any of the life pods on the way over to the wreck, and that's basically because one day we're just going to take all of the 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 signals and we're going to do them all at once. Um, so yeah, we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and put you in there. Uh, oh, I, that's right. I was going to make a battery. Holy crap! I'm not even prepared. And it's dark again. Damn it. That sucks. Okay, that's all right, though. We don't care. All right, so where's the life pod? Damn it, I lose it so easily. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Battery, and then we should be on our way over to the wreck, which is actually pretty easy to get to. I think a lot of people, are they get confused at where it is, and it's just like, eh. It's not really hard that, to figure that out. Um Okay, we should be good to go. I think that's everything we were getting, right? Yeah, I think that's everything we were getting. So let's... God, I'm going to keep losing in the base too, man. We got everything that we need in here. I don't think we need to take everything else. We got our suit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until daytime. And then we're going to head over there. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. It is early morning. Well, it's almost noon about now. Um... So what I've done is I've already gone out. There's our pod. Uh, as you can see, this is the first smoke area right there. If you look right there on the um, the side of the Aurora. If you just come out here and you literally stay right along the side of this and you kind of swim away from the Aurora, eventually you'll run right into this wreck. Not a big deal. Now I'm really hoping that... Oh, there's a Seamoth part right there. Hell yes. Okay, oh, there's another one right there. Okay, so we might be able to get the sea moth, or at least half of the sea moth down here. But might as well go get that. Why am I not using my damn sea glide again? Is that another piece right there? Okay, so one sea glide. Oh, yep, we're going to get our, our ass eaten by that guy. Okay, two, what is it, three? All right, so there's two. God, is he still around me? Leave me alone. I don't have any lights on, dude. Let me alone. Okay, so let's go over to this one here. All right, so we got the Seamoth in tow, or in blueprint tow. Now let's see if the mobile vehicle bay is in here or not, because I think this is where it's supposed to be. Oh, is that the battery charger? <gasps> That's the battery charger. We definitely need the battery charger. Hell yes, we need the battery charger. What do you know? Is there anything else around? Oh, I'm going to turn off my lights so I don't attract any more sand sharks. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do we got? I can't believe the Aurora hasn't blown up yet. This is a little bit unnerving, because if we've got a glitch game, I'm not going to be happy at all. Uh, let's see. I don't see any more battery chargers around on the outside. We are drowning. Drowning? There's a lot, a lot of titanium down here, though. Holy crap. Okay, so let's go up, get some air. We'll go back down, and let's see if we actually need... Like I said, I don't know if the mobile vehicle bay is actually in here or not. I'm really hoping it is, because if it's not, we got to find it, and I don't know where the hell to find it, to be completely honest with you. Okay, so let's go... Are we... It's right here, right? Ooh, ooh, yep, it's here. It's here. Okay, so there's our battery charger. Is that two... If that's two, then we might get the blueprint. Yes, we just got the battery charger. There's our mobile vehicle bay. But they're all oh, we need three. Okay, I hope there's two in here. Please be two in here. Please be two. 
Oh, damn. There's not. Oh, crap. I might have to go get a diamond so we can make a cutting tool. Crap. Well, at least we got some benches. That's that's important to have. We got all of our pots. Lots of pot. Okay, and then oh, a little bit of water. We can do a little bit of water. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people don't realize with this game. Blueprints, and there's this. I don't know if... Ow! What the hell, dude? Not cool. Not cool. A lot of people don't realize with this game... What was I saying? I completely went blank. Um, oh, they don't realize that that um, you can stay at a wreck and you can like go out of, um, of, of render distance and come back in and uh, 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 blueprints will will respawn. So like you can actually stick stick around. So say say that I found the moon pole out in the Grand Reef and then I came back or I left, but I you know I only found one blueprint. I left, I came back, it would, there might be a second blueprint that it's actually spawned. So they don't just spawn once, they actually spawn multiple times. Sometimes they won't even spawn until you leave and come back. So there's a very good chance that we could come in here a second time and actually get, is he still in there? Yes, the little prick's still in there. Um, we could actually get uh, another one to spawn in. So I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. That we're gonna, but we're gonna go down in this hole down here, and hopefully, uh, no, that's not the hole I thought it was. Okay, so yeah, that sucks. Mobile vehicle bay, where are you? There's got to be. I know that there's other wrecks, but I don't. Uh, I know of another wreck that probably would have it. Uh, so yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to that secondary wreck. I'll show you guys where it is. And once I find it and get in there, hopefully we can find the rest of the mobile vehicle bay. Isn't that a water filter? I want a water filter. All right, guys, we'll be right back. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, I was on my way to another wreck that I know about, but I found another wreck that I didn't realize about, that I didn't realize about, really, dude that I didn't realize was here and I found it and and and, and here it is. I'm going to hit F1. The coordinates are I can't see them. Where are they? Uh 70 and 386. So 70 and 386.5. Now, this is one that I wasn't actually uh, uh, trying to get to, but you can get to this one pretty easily. Um so here's another mo mobile vehicle bay right here. And really, I think all it really comes down to is you just gotta swim around, find these different wrecks. What is this? Is that mo that should be a mobile vehicle bay right there, right? Wait, do we? Do, we don't have the we don't have all the blueprints, do we? No, we need one more. Okay. Whoops. Exit. Whoops. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think. Oh, please. What? This is part of the mobile vehicle bay. Why won't you scan? I know this is part of the mobile vehicle bay. Oh, really? Wait, did that just say scan? Yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. How are you? Yeah, it did. Get away from me, you prick. <laughs> okay, so it is. Yeah, but it just, it won't. There we go. Oh, right on the corner of that thing. All right, we have got the mobile vehicle. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, dude. Really? You're a jerk. Okay, so we've got the mobile vehicle bay. We're good to go on that. We don't nearly need to worry about going to get diamonds. I'm pretty happy about that. What do we need for the mobile vehicle bay? So we're looking at titanium ingot, lubricant, powers, and a power cell. I think we got titanium... Eh. Yeah, that shouldn't be too difficult. Where are we anyway? We're way out here. We are way out here. When I was coming out to find this wreck, oh man, I ran into a bunch of those... Uh, what the hell are they called? I don't remember. The ones that are in the deeper ends that are over by the floating island. I can't remember their names. Um, the steel-plated ones or whatever they're called. Yeah, I ran into a bunch of those. That was not fun whatsoever. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab all of the stuff for the Seamoth. I'm going to grab all of the stuff for the, modifica or the modification station. Jeez. Um, the, the mobile vehicle bay. Holy crap. I just went stupid there for a second. Not that that's 
you know, anything different. But. So I'm going to grab all of that stuff. And when I do, I will be right back and we'll go ahead and get the Seamoth. We'll see you guys in a minute. I think, I think we've got everything we need at this point. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and transfer. I didn't, I didn't actually make anything. Uh, so I figured I'd make it with you guys on. Make both of them if we have enough. I'm hoping we have enough materials to make both. Let's hope. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. What do we need? We got... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we need... Uh, let's see. I still need to make a power... S oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Damn it. Damn it. I know what I was going to... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in... I'm going to go here, I'm going to hit here, and I'm going to remove E to escape, select, no, let's just do this. We'll take a 100% battery, because I think that you can use some of the old batteries to make a power cell. Yeah, it looks like you can, right? Okay, so do we have, we should have full batteries. Okay, good. Okay, so we got two power cells. Um, do we have everything for this? No, we do not have the titanium ingot, but I think I can make it right now. And we need two more glass. Uh, so we're almost done. Titanium ingot. Do we need titanium ingots for a ball? Damn it. Stop hitting the escape button. One titanium ingot, two titanium ingots. Good. Okay, so we can make the vehicle bay now. And then once we do that, damn it, I hit the escape again. And then once we need titanium ingot and glass. Okay, so four quartz. That shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. Hopefully. And I think this is going to fill up our inventory pretty much completely. Yes. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to drop it right over... Uh, we're going to drop it right over you. Wait, did I already drop it? No. It always sounds like I always drop it, but I don't. Okay, so you... Drop... There we go. Okay, so now we need four quartz. I think, isn't there quartz down here? Yes, here's some quartz down here. Isn't it crazy that I know where everything is? <laughs> it's, it, lots, of, lots of time playing this game. It's like, oh, I need quartz. Okay, I'm going to go over to the, 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 what's that? Oh, whoa, lag spike. Whoa, what was that? Oh, PC, we're going to have to sit down and have a chat. I know you, you're trying to tell me it's the game, and it's not the game, and maybe it is because that's this game. Okay, so we have... Yeah, that should do it. That should definitely do it. Yeah, it, it is the game, guys. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. PC's fine. It's all good. But it is the game. That's just... This game is so unoptimized, it's ridiculous. Well... They have done some optimizing. I, I have to give them credit. They've done quite a bit of optimizing, but the fact is, is no game's going to be perfect. And when it comes down to survival games, man, you know, with all of the stuff that's in the open worlds and all of the stuff, you know, all of the resources that they have to have that spawn in and it has to keep track of, it's just, it's really hard to make a really optimized game. But they are doing work on it, so... It's early access. It's still the greatest underwater survival game that's ever been created. And, you know, so that's always good. Okay, so Seamoth, here we go. And you know what? I really should name these guys, but I, don't, I haven't come up with any good name yet. So I'm just going to call them Bits for right now. We're just going to call them Bits for right now. All right, so Seamoth, absolutely, now. What changes have they done inside the Seamoth? Everything looks the same. Uh, I haven't played for what, quite a while. Okay, here's the big question. Can we, can we, please can we access our inventory while inside the Seamoth? Oh, they did. They did. They made one of the greatest changes ever made in gaming history. These little numbers drive me freaking nuts, you guys. They really do. I can't stand them. I'll, yeah, I don't need to deal with them right now. Okay, so we got the Seamoth. We've got that thing. People always tell other people to pick that up. I never pick mine up. I don't have any problems with it. Oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. The central dark matter reactor Let me get up. Will Let me get up. Let me get up. State. Let me get up. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
Five. Don't get in the way, okay? Oh. Oh yeah. Boom, baby. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. They do such a good job with this game. They really do. It's amazing. Here's the crazy thing. It blew up after we got in all of the radiation areas that we needed to get into. So technically, we didn't even need the freaking lead suit. Ugh, that's crazy. That's awesome. I love it. Okay, so we got the sea moth. We got our lead suit, which we pretty much... Now I guess we da now we do need it. Uh, we got everything else that we need. I think we're good to go to go over to the floating island. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I know you hate it when people say this. That's all the time we have today. Thank you for coming out the channel. I really, pre really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. You guys rock. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Keep gaming. Keep doing it midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next day. It, 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 it completely ruined that one. See you guys later. Take care. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Hey,